Hey there, how are you? Have you ever noticed as a Linux user that a lot of software has a version number that starts with zero point something, right? So what, what's that all about? Um, I, I suppose that a lot of software authors have their own idea of what this is all about, right? But to me, uh, the zero point something version explains that this is a software in development, right? It might be a very stable version of software like 0.6 or something uh, that has happened like five years away from when you back started, right? The idea of version 1.0 is, at least in my head, something that is like uh, completely finished from the point when you started designing the software programming. You have had a certain um, list of things for the version 1.0 that needs to be uh, checkboxed. Uh, and during your development, you might have changed some of these, you might have added more, uh, removed some of them. And all, all of this is like a moving target, right? Uh, so once you reach your version 1.0, it's like a big ce celebration day, like a, like a proof of maturity of your software. Like I'm now completely satisfied with this software. This is what I always, always wanted. And this is now it. And now we can start building from here, like into the future, right? So what happened today? I got email uh, that FreeCAD version 1.0.0 has been released. And the previous version was 0.21. And the difference between 0.21 and version 1.0.0 uh, is the inclusion of the topological naming problem mitigation code, an integrated assembly workbench, a new material system, and many user interface and user experience improvements. And what does this all mean and what is FreeCAD? Uh, well, th the first thing I'm going to say is that I'm not a CAD user. Uh, all I know about CAD, to, to be completely honest and transparent, all I know about, about CAD is that some of my friends use it uh, to make 3D printing models. Uh, so I just went ahead to, to the internet and look up what FreeCAD is all about, right? And it, it is used in engineering, like for mechanical parts design, assemblies and simulations, for architecture, um, B I am uh, building information modeling workflows, product design, industrial and artistic modeling, hobbies, projects like 3D printing and general do-it-yourself projects. And unlike proprietary software like SolidWorks or AutoCAD, FreeCAD offers users uh, full control over, over their software and their data aligning with principles of Libre software. talk uh, on these Linux themed channels about Libre software, right? Uh, you usually think about uh, Linux as a primary target for Libre software, uh, sometimes about web browsers, sometimes about desktops, you know, the, the flashy things that we use uh, every day. Uh, maybe we will, we will mention Emacs and Vim and all these kinds of super popular software but there are other stuff that is really, really important. For example, GIMP uh, is one of the best image manipulation progr programs out there. Uh, in my opinion, it rivals Photoshop in many, many, many ways, as a lot of people who um, default to Photoshop don't even realize. And don't reply to me that Photoshop is so much better. Uh, I'm not saying it is not. Well, all I'm saying is that a lot of people don't realize how much GIMP can actually do uh, for them, right? Uh, for me personally, I have never really had the needs for Photoshop, but that, that's just me. I do some basic um, image manipulation stuff. I, all, all I need is layers, 
uh, and some of the effects and the rest I can do manually. This video that I'm making now would be a little bit more complex to do if there weren't for OBS project and other very very popular projects out there. So what is it about FreeCAD that makes it so special? Let's start with the price. If you're a big company, I suppose that you're earning a lot of money and these prices would probably not be a problem for you, right? Let's see AutoCAD. Uh, I have looked it up quickly and don't hold me accountable if these prices are not 100% correct. But what I found was the annual subscription model for AutoCAD of uh, 1865 United States dollars. Uh, SolidWorks uh, 3995 US dollars one time price uh, plus uh, 1295 annual maintenance fee uh, subscription vary from 1000 to 2000 um, dollars let, let's not get too, too deeper into it so if you're a hobbyist uh, what are the chances that your hobby is even going to function without projects like FreeCAD right how how many people can start doing their hobby uh, with just like a couple of thousand dollars laying around uh, for something that they just want to test if they are good in that or not. So just from the money perspective, this is a huge, huge, huge deal. Because if you remember, if you have ever read or listened to Linus Torvalds uh, speaking about Linux, right? Uh, he was a poor guy and he could not uh, afford um, Unix system when when he was a kid, when he was a student, right? So he just went ahead and made his own operating system. And I'm not even talking about how popular this is right now, but simply the fact that he made it and offered it to everyone, the, the mentality in his head wasn't Libre software in the beginning, it was free software as in gratis. Uh, that, that was his first mantra, right? Uh, and then Richard Stallman approached and, and you know, uh, all of the GPL stuff happened. But initially it was about the price. So of course with FreeCAD that, that has a super, super uh, cheap and affordable entry into the hobbyist software, you can grow your um, hobby into a potential business, right? You might get someday to the, to the tier where you will need uh, something of the likes of AutoCAD or maybe SolidWorks. I actually don't know the comparison between these, but if I take the analogy of GIMP and Photoshop, I can pretty much understand how you can uh, ramp up your skills with the use of uh, gratis and Libre software. Uh, and one day you might be a professional in, in what you do and you might not be a professional someday if you didn't have access to some of this crazy crazy good software. So just to wrap up this video, in my opinion, we should give more of the credit to various kinds of Libre software out there because the, the whole ecosystem of Libre software of FOSS uh, community, right, is actually huge. It's just that uh, a lot of us are not familiar with anything that's not like focused in, in the middle of the uh, spotlight, right? I'm gonna see you in the next video.